Welcome to episode number one in the construction build system tutorial series and uh, yeah if you haven't watched the previous preview video make sure you do because there is a lot of uh, interesting information about how this thing will look in the end and also where to get some free assets. So the first thing what I'm going to do is I will implement some assets so I will create a assets folder in the content folder and here are all the assets that we are going to need as of right now there might be some more later on so i will make sure all of these are implemented properly with textures and everything and we are going to proceed so i've added the textures to my meshes but as of right now we don't have a glass texture for the window and we are going to create this once we are going to add windows to the construction system so as of right now we are going to leave it as it is right now and uh, yeah we're going to work on this later so once we have all of this done we can go to our third person character blueprint and start working on this whole thing so if you watched my previous series, uh, we are going to do something very similar. We are going to add a keyboard B key event, which is going to allow us to open up our build menu. And for this one, we are going to need a widget. So I'm also going to add another folder in the content browser, which I'm going to call UI. And we are going to create a user widget called UI build menu. I'm, we might open this but we are going to work in the third person character as of right now and first thing what we want to do is we want to check if we have our build mode turned on or off once we click the B key so I'm going to add a variable which is going to be called let's call this construction mode on so now we are going to check if the construction mode is on so let's do an if branch check see if this is on so if this is false then we can create a widget and we should promote this to a variable since a lot of people had issues that once they used the clear HUD node all of their widgets got destroyed so we are going to work our way around this and we are going to destroy only this build menu so I'm gonna call this um, build menu widget you can also create this into an RI and store multiple widgets in it and then just find the one you need to destroy and destroy the specific one. And also the class needs to be our build menu, like so. And the next thing what we want to do is again add to viewport. And then we need to get the owning player, uh, just the owning player. And from here we want to show mouse cursor set show mouse cursor to true so we can select what we need and then we want to again from this uh, owning player we need to set input input mode UI only since we want to focus on the UI and the widget to focus on is going to be this created widget right here and now on true we are going to do something very similar so what we can do is simply copy these last two nodes and reconnect the pins that we need so this is the target right here and this is the player controller and the widget we want to focus on is going to be this same widget right here so now we can connect through over here and this is going to be because we are not going to remove the widget while we are going to be in the build mode. We are only going to remove the widget uh, once we are outside of it. The next thing what I want to do is create a location where we are going to build things. We are not going to build things in our game world. We are going to create things outside of it. So what I'm going to do is duplicate this floor and I'm going to move this to side so move this outside of your world somewhere far far away but make sure you remember the coordinates because we are going to use these so what I will do is simply type in let's say minus 500 minus 25,000 yes and let's say Z let's make this 150 so these are going to be our coordinates so I'm going to copy these and now back in our third person character we are going to create a new function and I'm gonna call this set const 
construct construction camera and what I'm gonna do over here is we are going to get our camera component uh, camera boom component and we are going to set the world location and rotation well technically we don't need the rotation but just in case if we need it we can make it so here was minus 500 minus to 25,000 and this is 150 correct and also what we want to do is drag from this camera boom and we need to uh, set target arm length since by default it is 300 uh, but I don't want to have any so this is going to be zero actually this Z axis needs to be a little higher because this is going to spawn us right inside of our um, right inside of here so this is not going to be visible so let's set this to let's make this 200 so now back in our event graph on the false once the construction mode is not turned on we are going to set construction camera so add this function over here so now if we press play and press B we are getting teleported over here to our newly created location so this is exactly what we want so now we should reset our camera so let's add a new function let's call this reset construction construction camera and for this one we again need the camera boom but in this case we need to set relative location and rotation because we need to set this back relatively to our character and then we need to set our target arm length back to the value that we want it to be so by default this is 300 there we go and for the location we should click on this camera boom and let's see, let's see the details panel right here let's move this over here what we need is these values that we have here by default so X and Y is 0 but we have something in the Z axis so let's copy this paste this inside there we go compile and save this and now let's make sure we can actually uh, launch this function so I'm gonna go to my build menu widget and I'm going to add a button in this case let's add it to the bottom right corner let's anchor this and I'm gonna make this 100 by 100 so this means we need let's make this minus 100 minus minus 150 minus 150 so we have some padding on this one and let's call this um, turn turn build off and in the graph we can now on this button on clicked we can add an event again these detail panels are on the left for me I don't know why but um, now on this clicked we can cast to our third person character and we need to get our owning player pawn there we go and as this third person character we need to reset camera and we are resetting the camera back to the default and we can also set build mode uh, set construction mode I guess I'm still living in the previous series where I called this build mode so this is back to false compile and save and now if we press play press B click the button boom we are back here but as you can see the focus is not back we are still living uh, focusing on this widget and to fix this we need to get the owning player this time so we're getting the owning player and we are going to show mouse cursor set show mouse cursor well, not get but show uh, set I mean set the mouse cursor back to false and also from the same controller we need to set input game only 
there we go so now if we compile save this play press B we are over here click and boom we are back um, to the default position so what I want to do now is launch the build system so I'm going to add a new custom event so let's add a custom event and I'm gonna call this start construction construction system and uh, similar like in the previous tutorial we're going to do a if branch check and check if this thing is already on or off and uh, if this thing is on then we are going to switch it off but if it is not then we are going to turn this on and then from this false one we are going to do a line trace by channel line trace by channel and what we want to do is get our follow camera we need to get world location and we need to get forward vector so this is basically going to shoot a direct line from the camera to a point somewhere in the world depending on how far we want to shoot it so what we need to do is from this forward vector we need to multiply this vector by an well it doesn't matter I'm gonna do this with the integer so this is going to be basically the distance how far we want to shoot uh, the line so I'm gonna make this 1000 and what we want to do now is add this to the world location so vector plus vector like so and this is going to be the end point for us and also what I want to do is copy these once more and I want to so this is the forward vector this is the world location and I want this to be let's say 200 so that we wouldn't shoot the ray uh, well the line directly from the camera but rather 200 units away from it up until 1000 units away from it so this is going to be our start point and I'm going to um, draw debug type uh, for duration so that I would be able to see these lines and uh, with none they are not shown and for duration they are shown for a while and the next thing what I want to do is I want to loop this whole thing all the time so I'm going to add another custom event and I'm gonna call this construction delay construction delay and from here we should do a delay a regular float uh, flow control delay and I'm gonna make this point one and then we are going to do another if branch check to see if our construction mode is still on it's still running if it's not running then we are going to destroy our preview but if this is still running then I'm going to add another custom event which is going to be called restart construction so, and this restart construction is gonna start from this line trace by channel and so on this um, true we can restart the construction like so this should technically work just fine but we have an issue that we cannot uh, walk around in our build mode because if we press play yeah like the guy just does not move because we are focusing on the widget so let's add a button to our build menu and I'm going to let's see we can create a vertical box in my case I think this is going to be just fine and I'm going to anchor this to the left side of the screen and I'm gonna fill the entire screen so offset bottom is gonna be zero offset top is gonna be zero position X is gonna be zero and the size X is gonna be 300 200 yep and I'm gonna add some buttons to this so add a button to the vertical box let's make sure this is centered fill mm.
And for the style, I will make this quite a bit bigger so that it's actually visible. So 100 by 100. I'm going to copy this normal into the hovered and pressed so that it wouldn't glitch. And now for this button, I'm going to call this log button. Logs button. Yeah, seems good. And on this button pressed, we are going to do an event which is going to set an integer. So we need a variable. I'm going to call this build ID. And let's make this into an integer. Let's set this. This is going to be zero. Seems good. And then we need to add another custom event. Custom event. And this is going to be let's build so this is going to launch our build mode properly and from this on clicked we can now launch our let's build so from this let's build we can cast to third person character so that we can set our focus to the game rather than the widget so let's get the owning player pawn there we go and then Actually, as of right now, we don't need this, but we are going to need this. So let's leave it and let's add also a get owning player. Yeah, just the get owning player. And this owning player needs to set show mouse cursor back to false because we don't want to see the cursor. And also we need to set input mode game only. And this will allow us to focus on the game. So I believe now everything should work as planned. So let's press play. Let's press B. Let's press these. Uh, let's select the buildable. And boom, we can now look around on our newly created location. But now we have an issue. If we move with the um, buttons, A, W, S, D, you can see that we are moving quite a bit that is because our character is walking around in that uh, game world over there and the camera is still relatively connected to our player so this is gonna this is gonna move quite a bit so what we want to do now is go to our third person character and in the movement inputs we want to add a branch checks to see if our build mode is on and if it is on we don't want our character to be allowed to move so let's add this let's do a if branch check so if this is true we are not walking but if this is false then we can add a movement input and the same thing goes over here for this one as well since I don't have a gamepad input um, I'm not gonna change this but I would suggest that you do the same thing for the gamepad input as well um, otherwise the players with the gamepad will be allowed to move and I will do another if branch check on the jump event as well so let's add this over here and I'm gonna check this only on the pressed so if we are then we can jump but if we are not building then we can jump so once this is done uh, we need to launch our construction system and we are going to launch this over here uh, yeah basically when the construction is not on and we are creating a widget and we are setting the construction camera location then we can um, start our construction construction system so let's start the construction system let's go to the world press B as you can see the line trace is all has already begun there is an impact point we can press select this and as you can see we can look look around but we are not able to move as of right now so now we should create some camera movements 